Someone out there? Hello? Oh. What a swan, eh? Ah, oh, never mind. Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. Yes, it's back. It's back. This is Tobias Barlow and Francis Cook, located in mid zone sector B. Do you read me? I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer. Tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what, what we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, you know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy Christ! No one's had working wheels in here for ages. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the creature needs to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is ready or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know. Then back, baby. When you find that shelter, go on and let yourself in. Now, I'll be ain't gonna like you poking around in there, but better to face a bad side than let the zone eat you alive. as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours.
feel your turn. We'll send a breach into your garage on um, official zone business. Now, we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant, which has taken the form of a car, and, well, uh... She's not gonna care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super official zone business. Protocol uh, demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written. That's 10 years and 17 volumes and... Ah, <sighs> that voice, just like a nail gun to the skull. So... Another breacher, huh? How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300-meter wall out there for fun? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped.